Hi, I'm Larry Becker, and this time we're focused on Crop Factor. Focused is here because really understanding your camera makes you a better photographer. In one of our videos, we discussed focal length because if we know what field of view we can expect based on that millimeter measurement, we'll be able to pick the right lens or the right zoom amount for the job. Then in our sensor size video, we discussed how lots of different cameras have one of more than a dozen possible sensor sizes, not megapixel count, but actual physical sensor size. So if you understand focal length and you get good enough to know what to expect from a certain focal length, putting that same lens on a camera with a different sensor size is gonna change things. The field of view will be different, but manufacturers usually help you out by telling you about the crop factor. That simple little number makes it so easy for you to calculate a 35 millimeter equivalent. On a full frame camera like a high-end DSLR, the crop factor is just one. Okay, first things first. There's no such thing as a crop factor on a full frame sensor since it's the standard we measure against. But since it's a starting point, you could think of it as a crop factor of one. So if you have a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, it gives you the field of view you would expect from a 50 millimeter lens on a 35 millimeter film camera. You don't have to be a rocket surgeon to figure this stuff out. But since lots of modern DSLRs have both a smaller sensor size, usually an APS-C sensor, and they have lens mount systems that let them use lots of those same lenses, you need to know the APS-C crop factor. For most Nikons and Sonys, for example, their crop factor is 1.5. And most Canon APS-C equipped cameras have a 1.6 crop factor. So multiply by those numbers to get your new expected 35 millimeter equivalent focal length. Okay, this is a little tougher. A 50 millimeter lens on a Nikon or Sony APS-C sensor camera seems like a 75 millimeter lens because of the field of view equivalent. 50 times 1.5 is 75. However, on a Canon APS-C equipped camera with a 1.6 crop factor, a 50 millimeter lens seems like an 80 millimeter lens. Oh, I get it. So this 18 to 135 zoom on my Canon 70D is gonna act like a 28.8 to 216 millimeter lens. Hey, and since the crop factor gives you an idea what field of view would be equal to in terms of full frame camera, and that is equal to a 35 millimeter film negative, they should call it a 35 millimeter equivalent. Yeah, you'll often hear the crop factor adjusted number referred to as 35 millimeter equivalent. Some mirrorless cameras with four thirds sensors have a two times crop factor, so you just double the millimeter number to get your new 35 millimeter equivalent. Lots of point and shoot cameras have even smaller sensors, and since they usually have zoom lenses or a fixed lens that can't be swapped out, you rarely hear about crop factor, but you do sometimes see a mention of that 35 millimeter equivalent field of view. That wraps it up for this episode of Focused. Focused is made possible thanks to B&H Photo, Kelby One, and these nice people. If you have questions for Focused, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode, and we'll see you next time.